First, there can't be many families whose lives haven't been touched in some way by some of the uh, most awful brain conditions, dementia, multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's. Well, now the West has a unique centre at the forefront of research into brain disease. Yes, called the Brain Centre. It opened at Southmead Hospital this afternoon, bringing together a wealth of expertise. Alice Bouvery reports. Cutting-edge research is already happening in Bristol in the field of neuroscience. Two years ago, Tom Phipps became the first Parkinson's patient in the world to have a long metal probe pushed deep into his brain for an experimental treatment to repair damage caused by the disease. Getting the operation done and, and being the first person to, to, to undergo this surgery uh, with a view to re re reversing the effect of Parkinson's was, was quite something. It was a privilege to be part of it. Until last year, the Centre for Parkinson's Research in Bristol was effectively a caravan at French A Hospital. We're just going to be placing some electrodes onto the skull. Its new home is the Brain Centre at Southmead Hospital, along with experts specialising in multiple sclerosis and dementia. Well, the reason why this research and these clinical rooms have all come together under one roof is because all these conditions are not only incurable but also degenerative. But what they're trying to do here, which is so revolutionary, is not just manage dementia, Parkinson's and MS, but actually develop new treatments to try and repair and restore the brain. It does give us the opportunity to interact and to learn from each other and to see, well, actually, they're doing that in Parkinson's disease. Wouldn't it be interesting to try something similar in multiple sclerosis? The lessons from Alzheimer's will inform research in Parkinson's disease. Yeah, you come out with me. You're going to have a hug, are we? It offers hope for millions of patients like Barbara Hall, who was diagnosed with dementia in 2008. You ask any carer what they want most and they'll say a cure. In our case, we went to UCL and they told us, well, she's got frontal temporal dementia. Is there any treatment? No. We felt abandoned by the NHS because there was nothing we could do. You're on your own. Charities have donated £1.5 million towards this project. They've helped put the West at the forefront of research into brain disease. Alice Bouvery, BBC Points West, Bristol.